Hello, today we're going to do a short video of replacing an ignition coil on a steel 029, 039, MS290, MS310, and MS390. My name is Lee Smith and I'll be showing you how to do this short video of replacing an ignition coil on the steel chainsaw. First you want to remove the starter cover. Four screws holds it on there. After the four screws have been removed, remove the starter cover, lay it to the side. As you can see, the ignition coil is dirty, so you want to clean this area up. After you clean the area up, remove the air filter cover, remove the spark plug boot, remove the spark plug boot, spray a little bit of lube inside, and give a firm pull on the spark plug wire and the boot comes off. Remove the spark plug adapter. You'll lay the saw over on the side. Remove the two screws securing the ignition coil to the body of the chainsaw. You can also unplug the kill switch wire. Taking the ignition coil, lifting it up out of the saw. After removing the screws securing the ignition coil to the chainsaw, you have two ground wires you lift up. You have the kill switch wire you lift up, lifting the ignition coil, and taking a pair of needle nose, you can help ease this job. Grab the high tension spark plug lead and pull it down out of the chainsaw. After the ignition coil has been removed, you can see the spark plug high tension wire is short. Our ignition coils, the wire is long. It replaces steel part number 0000-400-1300. This ignition coil fits multiple chainsaws. This is the reason why the spark plug wire is long. What you want to do first is cut the high tension spark plug lead to length. After it's been cut to length, you will need to poke a hole for your spark plug terminal to fasten onto. A pair of side cutters is easily cut the wire. After it's been cut, you want to install your, your hole, as I mentioned earlier. You can get yourself a nail, you can use the terminal to do that. You just want to make sure it's going to fit in there. It's a good idea at the same time to clean this up. The ignition coil bolts into a plastic housing. One of these ground wires runs to the block itself for a ground. The other one goes to your kill switch over here. If you take your new high tension spark plug lead and you feed it up through the grommet, it goes up to the spark plug area of the chainsaw. After the high tension lead is up in the spark plug area, you will install the two screws that holds the ignition coil on. Before you can tighten them down, <clears throat> you will have to push the coil all the way back, tighten them down, turn the flywheel magnets to the line up with the two leads on the ignition coil. You'll get yourself a gap gauge, 10 thousandths shim stock. My business cards are ten thousandths. You'll loosen the two screws. You'll let the ignition coil go into the magnets of the flywheel. You're tightening down the two screws securely. You want to plug in the switch wire. Remove the shim stock. You reinstall the starter cover. I want to show y'all one more thing. <clears throat> this is a self-tapping screw that screws into plastic. The proper way to install it is to turn it backwards. When the screw falls into the threads, you can tighten it up. It will not cut new threads. If you do not do this, you run a chance of stripping 
the hole out and you'll need to get an oversized screw. After you start the housing secure back onto the chainsaw with the four screws, turn the saw over. You will reinstall the terminal on the spark plug wire. The hole is already punched in there for you. You'll take the spark plug boot and you'll lube it up. Get yourself a pair of needle nose pliers. You can hold the spark plug terminal. After installing the coil, you want to install the spark plug boot, plug the boot back up to the spark plug, reinstall the air filter cover, and now you're ready to cut wood. This ignition coil is in my e-commerce store, www.littleredbarn.net. Go to the saw manufacturer, this would be steel. Look up the category, ignition coil, and you can purchase it there. I want to thank you very much for watching this short video on how to replace an ignition coil on a steel 029, 039, MS290, MS310, and MS390. Thank you very much.